So, something that a lot of filmmakers do, uh, particularly DPs or colorists, they do something called layouts. Um, and what they do for their videos or their pieces of content that they either color or DP or frames from their films, they'll put them together in a layout format, usually a stack of three clips. So one, two, three, and one square shot that they share on Instagram. And this creates a really unique look uh, and aesthetic to their profile and allows them to share multiple images at a time to show their work as a DP, their lighting or the coloring as, you know, as a colorist. Um, it allows you to really show off uh, your uh, multiple looks at one glance, but it also gives a really cool aesthetic and look and it's something I do for my videos whenever I have some cool share stills to share or projects to share and I use this Instagram layout feed or app uh, to create this cool uh, aesthetic. So I'm gonna show you the app, but it's actually integrated into Instagram now, so you could do it straight in Instagram. I personally just use the app, save the photo, and it saves it directly to my phone. But here's an example is this Kenan Chabani uh, colorist. Does a lot of great uh, color work on music videos, but you can see the stacks uh, of the, the clips. Here is just two clips on this G-Easy video, as you can swipe through and see the multiple looks. Uh, typically, it's like this where you have three frames um, and then again you can swipe through and look at the different frames as you go through but you can see it creates for like a really cool Instagram aesthetic and it allows you to really see a lot of work all at once so as a director a DP a colorist this is a really cool tool to allow people to see stills from your work um, and really get a feel for the video your content your skills uh, your aesthetic and everything uh, really really quickly so how you achieve this look is you go over and download the layout app. So this is the layout app right here. You open it up and then simply you just start selecting photos. So if I wanted to make a layout with this photo, this photo and this photo, it automatically places them in different arrangements. You can choose which one, but of course I always go and, and most people in the film or photo community are gonna choose the, the three layers and then you can place it within you can adjust but it evenly uh you know spaces out every single one and then you just pick your frame of where you want it to live and then once you're done you could flip the image if you want you can mirror it you can kind of you know flip it upside down uh replace the image but that looks good and so i would simply just then take that save it and i can post it straight to instagram from right here facebook there's more options I just usually hit done um, and then I go in and, and share it to Instagram when I want to share it. So uh, that is a really quick and simple way that you can show people your work as a DP, a colorist, a photographer and allow them to see a lot of really cool stills uh, from your videos or projects, whatever it is, while maintaining a really cool aesthetic and look. I've been getting a lot of questions about how I do this and when I post the series of stills, how I'm doing that and it's simply by taking you know, frame grabs from Adobe Premiere, uh, putting them on my phone and then selecting them in this app or photos that are saved to my phone, selecting them in this app. So just take the screen grabs or stills from your editing software, I, I drop or cloud drop them or whatever, airdrop them to your phone, send them to your email, whatever. Once you have all your images saved on your phone, you could choose all different types of layouts and pretty much as simple as that. So. Real quick, easy, fun thing, wanted to talk about and share with you guys today. A lot of people don't really know about it. And uh, yeah, I thought, it'd, I thought it'd be helpful. So that's all I have for today. I'm Jacob Owens for The Buff Nurse. I'm out.